中では世界各国から集まったボランティアの助けましてはレース開催は去年1987年にここで最初のスクールラバーのボランティアが開催されるようになりますこの各国で世界選手権は Hello everyone and welcome to CTCR、um, Tier 1 Season 3. It's round 8 and we are here in Japan. First driver out of the pit lane is Speedy Boy, a racer from last night. Hopefully, today's race is nothing like last night.、Um, obviously, we only had two finishers in that race, which、um, is really going to change the whole state of the league. And with only 11 drivers so far today, with most likely will be 12、uh, when we get one of the Williams drivers to join midway through, we still do need more drivers. We need to be up in the 16s, 17s, and 18s, possibly even a few full grids throughout the race,、um, throughout the season. So we're going to have to make changes in order to fulfill that capacity. But at the moment, We'll focus on now, and now is the Japanese Grand Prix.、Um, looking at the standings, we have Syke in the lead with 132 points, I do believe. Let me just go on to the driver's standings. Yeah, 132, but Randro with 116, so that means 16 separate both of them. That means that if Randro can win the race here and Syke finishes off the podium, I think it's off the podium.、Um, no, and Syke finishes out of the top five. That means Randro will take the lead of the championship for the first time this season. Oh, is it this first time this season? Oh, no, I think he had the lead in Hungary. But yeah, around the first time as we watch Speedy Boy go through our first lap of this Japanese Grand Prix. Through turn one.、It's、very light on the brakes as you just downshift gears and then into these very difficult Suzuka S's. Speedy Boy done these so well last night and ended up getting pole position in tier two, unfortunately, then crashing out. But at the moment, running very, very smoothly as he goes, obviously, quickest in sector one with a 132. It's a good. Lap so far from the Mercedes driver filling in for its Jake mate today. Both McLaren and Mercedes in a battle in the constructors as well, with McLaren leading with 182. Mercedes a good bit behind in a 147. We'll see if they can turn that around today. Speedy Boy has to live up to his name here as he goes around Spoon into the now on this run down this long straight. It's not quite DRS. Material down towards 130R. Again, it's been a very, very clean lap so far as he heads into the Casio Triangle chicane. Where will Speedy Boy put it? He'll put a P1, but what time will he set? It's a 130.3. Right behind the Kingsman, another driver who set a Lap time last night that was very competitive. Obviously, qualifying was good last night, but the race didn't live up to that standard. s Kingsman comes to the line now. Will he beat Speedy Boy? I don't think he will. It's going to be P2 with behind them a Patish Hunt. Where will he put it? P3, Emilio, just behind them. He's had a poor season so far, and he's also not put it anywhere. Randro 17 to the line, he goes. And it had to be provisional pole for the Uruguayan. Ski fan couldn't quite set a lap time. Big Loudy will. He'll go P4. Behind is Syke starting his first flying lap only now.、Uh, and no one else really to cross the line. So good from Mercedes so far.、Uh, four tenths separate the two drivers, the tier two and tier one, as we'll ride on board with Syke's. Lap at the moment, and we'll see what kind of lap time he can set as he gets on the curb a little bit too much and goes for a spin out of one of the S's. So it won't be provisional pole on his first flying lap for Psyche. He's gonna have to cool down those tyres and get back up. 
for our second one. Techno Sizzle is the next man to set a lap time. He goes very, very early into turn one and already invalidates his lap. Stefan had already invalidated, so he won't be able to go again. So we'll wait now for, I think it's X Kiamba cross the line and, set and start his flying lap as drivers start to head into the pit lane after finishing their flying laps. So, as X Kiamba, oh, did a bit of oversteer as he comes out of final corner, but we'll start now his first flying lap. The run down into turn one. And the brakes drops to third instead of fourth, so it's a little bit of a different line from X Kiamba, but it's been very clean so far. Sykes set the 146.6, and I think it's gone straight for another hot lap. We'll keep an eye on his sectors as we watch X Kiamba through his lap. What kind of first sector has he set? It's going to be 134. Point seven says fastest first sector, it isn't. Because I know Randro and Speedy Boy were both in the 132s. As Kiamba heads into the hairpin of turn 11, into turn 12 and then up to 13 and 14 in the spoon curve. It's been a pretty smooth lap so far from X Kiamba. There hasn't been many mistakes, but generally it hasn't been as fast as the front runners and it should be within probably around that 131 mark of Big Loudy and a Papish Hund. We'll see now as he heads through 130R and how he approaches this. It's a flat corner. Obviously he has taken a flat. Now how brave will he be going into the Casio chicane? It's been a fairly, fairly smooth lap so far for Mexican, but not many mistakes, but generally not really a fast lap either. It's only going to be a 133 next across the line Randro 17 he's out of the final chicane or, or Rando was taken I should say he goes P3 then it's Syke to cross the line Syke only P4 so it isn't going to be pole position nowhere near pole position for Syke it's so far Mercedes Mercedes McLaren McLaren as we watch Techno Sizzle who invalidated his first flying lap he's on his second one now and we'll see as he heads to the end of sector two what kind of time he will set. He's in the 114.0 through sector two. That's around where Rando was, I think just even a bit quicker. So Techno realistically could put this car in the top three. We'll see now as he comes out of final chicane. Where will Techno Sizzle put his car? Only P6. He must have struggled through that final sector. Rando 17 has invalidated his lap. X Kiamba. He's running now VRS, but it says that he's 1.4 seconds up, so we'll keep an eye on him to see if he has improved by much. We'll see now as he comes to the end of sector two. He's 1.7 seconds up, so realistically this time should be a lot better than the first. As he heads into the final chicane, well, as Emilio had invalidated his lap, so that's not going to be much of an issue. X Kiamba comes to the line. It's going to be an improvement by how much just enough for P9 Let's watch Speedy Boy on what I think is an outlap yep same with Ski Fan also on an outlap but Patish Hund isn't he's four tenths up in his time through sector one and through sector two we'll see how much he's up in his time now it's nine tenths. It's been a great lap so far from Apatishund. He's finding all the time now. How much time can he find into the final two corners? The Casio Triangle Chicane. Where will he put this car? Realistically, on his time, it should be P5. Will it be even better? Apatishund to the line. It is P5. Behind him, the Kingsman. Again, to the 113s he went. What kind of lap time can he set as he comes to the line? Gets the DRS active. The Kingsman remains P6. 
Techno Sizzle into the pit lane. And Randro 17 improves on his fastest lap. It goes into the 129s as we watch Big Loudy come round the final corner. He cannot improve. Emilio had invalidated. Next, Kiamba is on an in lap. So we'll keep an eye, I think, on Speedy Boy if he is being a Speedy Boy on a hot lap at the moment. True Spoon, he goes. He's the next driver to cross the line with a competitive lap time. Seven minutes left of qualifying. Speedy Boy heading into 130R. He's two tenths up on his time. So this could really improve his gap between him and Rando. And he could do a massive job for his teammate today in the in the drivers if he was going to be able to get in between himself and the McLaren Speedy Boy to the line goes quicker that is a good lap from Speedy Boy a Patish Hund or I should have watched T-Fan he crossed the line goes P8 the Kingsman he's on a cool down lap then Landro is also on a cool down lap Big Lowry the same Sykes on an out lap, okay. Sykes, only competitive lap times enough for P4. Approved by at least eight tenths in order to get up into the top two. And we'll see, Sykes has shown us many times this season that is possible. We'll see if he can do that. As we'll watch him on his hot lap as I think that's Ski Fan having a bit of trouble. Down at the bridge. So Psych starts his hot lap now. What kind of time can the McLaren driver set? As Emilio lets him through. Drops it to fourth gear down to turn when most drivers do do that. A few have to drop it into third, but so far, so good for the McLaren driver of Psyche. As he takes the Suzuka S's very, very cleanly indeed. Into sector one, it's a 133, so he's one tenth up in his time, so that's not going to be anywhere near good enough to get up close to Randro, but we'll see now. How much he can improve through the middle sector if that's where he lost the time in his first push lap. Middle sector is where you don't want the tyre wear and obviously he did set that lap time on two lap old tyres and we'll see now on the fresh ones as he heads through Spoon how much time he'll gain through sector two. He runs a little bit wide but doesn't invalidate. It's been a good lap so far from Syke as he heads down into the check mark for sector two. How much is he up on his time now? He's four tenths up in his time, so that should be enough to put him up in the P2. But how much can he gain through this final chicane in order to get up possibly onto pole position? Psych, round the final corner. Where will he put the car? It's going to be P2 for the McLaren driver. Not enough to overtake Randro, but it has been a very smooth lap indeed as Emilio the only other driver out on track he's about to start his final flying lap now as I don't think he'll get in and out in time we're right on board with our season one world champion and what kind of lap time can he set obviously he's been struggling so much this year and we hope he can do much better Cloudy could be in the way of Emilio here. He isn't. I was trying to see if Tyro could join. He said he should be able to make it. I don't know if he will. We'll figure that out eventually. So Emilio goes through Spoon now. Obviously it's going to be his final lap. As it looks like. I think that's Randro and Speedy Boy both leaving the pits at the exact same time here. 
Emilio to the end of sector two. He is six tenths up in his time, so that should be enough to put in maybe something to get ahead of X Gamba. He's fighting for points now instead of wins that he used to fight for in season one. It hasn't been a great adjustment to the new game for Emilio Robinino, who comes to the line now and will stay P11, so that's not going to be any good at all for him as Big Loudy is going to start his final flying lap and no one else has started it ahead of him I don't think or X Gamba has 116 no he hasn't so we'll wait for Big Loudy to cross the line then we'll see who crosses the line after that as he really does wrestle the car over the curbs here and I think he may be Big Loudy will keep on board with him because he's going to be setting his final lap now. He's three tenths up in his time and that's not going to be anywhere good enough to catch up to Ski Fan and get into the top eight. We'll see how much he can gain through the final chicane and possibly maybe a bit of time through 130R. Big Loudy to the line goes the Alfa Romeo reserve. He does improve and goes P8 so we'll see if anyone can improve on that. Rando was taken, he is on a lap at the moment, at least I think he is, no he's on the start, he is now behind Exciamba, he's also not. He is on, about to start his final lap now, he should be able to make the flag, he does. So then Kingsman, and he is on a flying lap, and he is just ever so slightly up in his time. We'll see how much he can gain as he wrestles the car through the final few turns. As Techno Sizzle retires at the hairpin, and I think Ski Fan has spun. Techno Sizzle has been overtaken. Ski Fan has spun, yes. Who's next to the line? Apatish Hun is a little bit up in his time. Not going to be enough to improve up in the P4, but he wants to kind of just defend himself and possibly x Gamba and Ski Fan who are also on flying laps. Patish Hund as qualifying checkered flag is out. And Patish Hund goes P5. Stays P5. Speedy Boy to the line he goes. It's P2 for Speedy Boy. Re overtakes Psych who hadn't made the checkered flag in time. Randro even improved even more on his pole position time. The last person to cross the line who's just ever so slightly up in his time is Rando. I don't think it's going to be enough for him to get up into the top three, but it should be a decent start from P4 for the McLaren driver. That's where he will start. X Giamba hadn't validated and Big Loudy is on an in lap. So that will be our grid for the race. As Tyro will join, he just cannot join yet, so we're gonna just have to make a quick new lobby. Be an interesting race to say the least.
Okay, so we'll quickly get a new lobby going. Okay, so let's get everybody into the lobby. So, Soik, Rando, 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 Speedy, The Kingsman, Apatish, Emilio. Techno X Kiamba Who are we waiting on? We're waiting on X Kiamba. Give him another invite. Big Loudy and Tyro. Okay, so Randro on Paul. Randro P4, Psych P3 with Speedy Boy. And Apatishan was P5 with Techno Scissor P7, Kingsman 6. Ski Fan, oh, Big Lady was 8.
Okay, so we're almost ready to get underway. I think that's everyone we have because it just looks like Excamba's disappeared. So we are good to go again. Okay, so we're back in the lobby, back at Suzuka. Uh, we've lost someone and gained another player, so we still have 11, but we've lost ex Kiamba, who I don't know what happened to him, he's just gone offline. Um, and then we've gained Tyro, who's obviously should be a race contender, race win contender, so we'll see what happens. Exciting and to just race anyway, especially from where Psyche is starting. So we just wait now for the guys to um, select their strategies and we get on the way. Okay, so the grid seems to be correct. Um, Ski fan selected his um, team late, so he has put himself pretty much into 11th. It's no fault other than his own. So um, we're not going to restart because of that. Um, otherwise, every uh, nothing wrong with. Connection issues or anything like that so far, it looks like. We'll look at tires. Emilio on the softs and so too does Rando start on the softs. We'll see how much penalties there will be today as we wait for the guys to heat up those tires and we get underway for the Japanese Grand Prix. Most starting on the medium, which most likely then will be going to hard. 
Rando on the softs. I don't know if he's going to go softs, medium, then back to softs. I don't know what he's going to try. Emilio on the softs too. We just hope that it's a clean turn one and everything goes to plan. We'll soon find out about that. I think someone has gone off. Is that Psyche? Psyche has spun. He's gonna have to hurry up him because he's just a little bit too far behind. Drop 17 will now get ready to pack up his car for this race. Let's see if we can get a good angle. It's probably the best we're going to get here. This one from Psych. Here we are, five red lights for the Japanese Grand Prix. It's lights out. It's lights out and away we go. It's a very good start from Speedy Boy and Sykes got the best start of everyone and so too has Rando. Sykes already up into the lead. Randro's kept P2, but he's going to go back down the inside for the lead of the race. These are battling side by side as that looks to be Big Loudy gone off in the distance. Randro somehow kept the lead after Sykes' amazing start. Speedy Boy's dropped off, and now it's the McLaren 2 3 as Rando is going to go for it on Syke. No team orders down at McLaren. Rando goes around the outside of the S's, has to run a little bit wide, but gets the move done up into P2. What a start that has been as Kingsman and Techno Sizzle have dropped back massively. Look at position gained. Rando up to. Psych has remained even after his amazing start. Speedy Boys dropped to. Apatu Shun stayed the same. Tyro's got up four places already. Techno Sizzle's lost it down at the back there. Emilio's gone up two. Ski Fan up three. Big Loudy has dropped one. Kingsman has also dropped four. A very bad start from him. With Techno Sizzle spinning out and dropping 11 as he tries to get himself back on track, but he's just spinning the car. As we keep an eye on him, he's right on board. As it looks like someone else has lost it. It's Emilio, and I think he's had a bit of a tangle maybe with... Who was that? I think it was Tyro, possibly his own teammate. Emilio's dropped back now into P10. Techno Sizzle really struggling here with those tire temps as he's spinning all over the place and I think he has got it sorted as he's into the higher gears now so Randro has kept the lead from pole position but, uh, but Rando and Syke with both their amazing starts down into turn one have stayed have uh, overtaken Speedy Boy which was kind of the little cover for Randro having his teammate and also not even a teammate it's more of a reserve right behind him kind of blocking him off having him there and now dropping back has kind of lost that little bit of protection that Sandro did have as Tyro seems to be getting awfully close to a Patishon. Tyro looks to be absolutely flying it today he must love Suzuka maybe possibly a first race win from Tent on the grid as Techno Sizzle has retired in the pit lane he's retired already so he believes he won't be having a good race as he's dropped and just parked the car in the pit lane. As we watch Tyro out of spin, what kind of exit has he got? As who's that? It's Psych! Psych has spun out! Psych has spun out from P2 out of spoon. And it's dropped now down into P9. It's going to need some sort of miracle. Or P3, I should say. It's going to need some sort of miracle now. And a safety car, hopefully, to get him back in this race. If that doesn't come, 
he could be in mighty trouble in his championship lead especially with Randro leading the race and hopefully going to gain away from Rando we'll see how that plans out in the next few laps we'll go gap two leader it's now 15 seconds between them two and Emilio's already a pit stop behind as long as he stays in the race though we should be able to pick up points Emilio something he's really struggling for and it could be relegation to tier two if he doesn't improve enough Rando everything going so smoothly Tyro did get by Patty Shun there's someone else has spun off it's the Kingsman the Kingsman's lost it out of the final turn of the Suzuka S's and he's dropped down to P9 with Emilio close behind here as we'll see I think Tyro is starting the gain on Speedy Boy Tyro is almost like Max Verstappen this race he's gained 6 positions from P10 and is already looking at a podium on lap 3 if he keeps up this pace who knows he could maybe go on to a race win as Speedy Boy is right on the back of Rando and Rando's tyres must be wearing already as they go into 130R Speedy Boy doesn't try it as we'll see now as they head into the chicane again he's just backed off but it's lap 3 so that means DRS is going to be available to use for the Mercedes driver Rando seems to be struggling on those tyres Speedy Boy's absolutely loving it as DRS as he gains down this straight and Rando's going to make him go around the outside but he's probably still going to stick it Speedy Boy they've left the room it's clean racing from the two of them and Speedy Boy is back up into P2 and it's a Mercedes 1-2 here in Suzuka as Rando seems to be struggling now on those soft compound tyres no one has made a pit stop yet and Rando will see how long he can go on those soft tyres before he has to come in for his pit stop. It's Tyro now right on the back from I could see Rando possibly panicking as Rando is going to gain a huge gap now to them as Rando goes a little bit wide through the hairpin and Tyro with the fresher tyres or fresher tyre wear going now on the run down towards the spoon curve turn 13 and 14 we'll see what when Tyro will try line up a move if Speedy Boy can get out of the DRS zone already it looks like it will happen we'll see Tyro could be able to get a move done into 130 they're side by side Tyro is ahead wow we've got that done really early the better exit on the better compound attire and he's up in the, the podium places already we've waited five minutes for him and restart in the lobby and well luckily we did obviously missing out not last week but a week before in not being able to race in Italy but he's able to race as he's just picked up the fastest lap of the race and is heading now towards speedy boys a bit too far back to maybe make a move now but we'll be right on the back of them as we head through the Suzuka S's speedy boys gonna probably try to fend for his life here for his teammate in the lead with Syke gaining on ski fan behind he is still almost a sector behind Randro and if we go to leader 20 no 17 seconds behind any more spins could be costly for Syke with 22 laps remaining only one DNF in the pit lane from Techno Sizzle it's been a good race so far Tyro looks to make the move already on Speedy Boy through the exit of the hairpin into the spoon curve Tyro's up in the P2 Speedy Boy could not do much about that unless he can now on the exit Tyro just so much quicker now and we'll see what Tyro can do in chasing down Randro if he can chase him down and possibly win the race on lap 5 he's been absolutely rapid in another world Tyro and it's possibly going to be a race win if he keeps up the pace he has the Williams driver still yet to win a race from bad luck and maybe others being faster than him but maybe this is the time as Rando has called it and he's come in for his pit stop now 
We'll see what tires he will put on. He'll put on the hards. So he has a mega job now and get 21 laps on these hards till the end. We'll see if that's going to be possible or not. Psych overtakes him. And I think Emilio, he may have to call it quits on the softs too. Nope, he's going to stay out this lap. Possibly, no, he won't be near Randro. So, with 21 laps remaining, Randro is kind of keeping that same uh, lap time. So he is set from his personal best. Tyro's only getting quicker the more clean air he's getting as they head through the hairpin now and around turn, um, turn 12 down towards the spoon curve. It's been... I think what six tenths Tyros gained there in that last lap and we'll see how much he gains on this lap until possibly it will be time for it to make a move. Now as Randro shown in the past it may be easy to catch up to him but it's really another thing to overtake him. Speedy Boy's doing a good job behind in just keeping that kind of one second gap where Tyro makes a mistake he will be right on the back of him but Tyro is gaining on Randro. We're just going to make it hard for Speedy Boy to keep up with him as they head now into the straight. This is where the Williams has the most advantage here. That his straight line speed has been immaculate, but it looks like they've matched setups because he's not gaining that much on Randro as he was on Rando and Speedy Boy. As they head through the S's, we'll see who has the better downforce. Ski fan gets by Big Loudy, these two. A little bit of a scrap down into turn one. Ski fan up in the P5. It's been all good so far. Tyro is has Randro in his sights, but it's still just a little bit too far away. He's a tent up in his time though. Shows that he is pushing these tires. And may need the pit stop soon, as shown in the bottom right of his MFD there. That maybe those tyres are starting to wear a little bit more than Randos, and we'll see that throughout this Grand Prix. Emilio did come into the pits, he's come on to medium, so he's obviously going for the two stop. Uh, as long as he stays in the race, he should have points. Maybe lapped soon. Tyro has got to the detection zone and is within the DRS. Now he's obviously way too far back to make a move, but with DRS he should be able to gain some time down the straight and then gain more through the first few sectors. As yeah, that's two tenths through the straight just with DRS alone. The closer now he can get to the back of Randro, the easier it will be then to make a move the second time. Big Loudy has called a quits on the medium tyres and six laps into their life he has come into the pit lane and will put on I'm guessing the hard tyres that little just bump down in the pit lane yep the hard tyres for Big Loudy Kingsman's picked up a three second penalty for exceeding track limits he's the only driver to do that so far Tyro sets another fastest sector one absolutely rapid he has been so far this race again he's only seven tenths behind though we'll see how much time he can gain through the spoon curve and possibly make the move into turn one doing his dutch friend psych a favor here by knocking seven points off randro psych is in p6 at the moment but still has to make a pit stop We'll see now with 19 laps remaining on whether he can do that. Tyro has lost time, but maybe that's due to Randro and his slow driving. Well, for Tyro standards, as he's right on the back of Randro now. Five tenths, and with DRS and the toe, it should be a bit easier to make the move. But Randro is probably, he's not even burning his ERS, neither is Tyro. He doesn't feel like it's the right time to make a move, but he is right up on Randro's gearbox and I should say around our pit window of lap 9, lap 10 I'd say who will come into the pit lane first will they come in at the same time or will there be a potential of an undercut for Tyro or an overcut we'll see 
what they will do. As their pit window should be now, Kingsman has... Is that retired in the pit lane? Kingsman just retired in the pit lane. He has. I don't see the logic in that. He was doing well in where he was, but he's decided to call it quits there and won't score any points for Alpha Tari today. Essence Acid was asked to race. He couldn't. Kingsman has reserved for Darkness Alorex and uh, Hedorex. And I think a Sector 1 has been... There's been a yellow flag, I think, everywhere at the moment until that's cleared. Now it has been cleared. Oh, because Kingsman's going to have to retire on track. His cars came out. That isn't good at all, but hopefully it will disappear soon. Tyro's going to go for the move into 130R. Forces Randro a little bit wide. They're right on the back of each other now. Trying to force Randro off shape. It's really, really aggressive driving from Tyro, but it's all fair here as he's right on the back of him now with DRS and that he's gaining will he go for the move now Randro's going to force him around the outside Tyro should be able to get it done late on the brakes Tyro what a race he's had so far he's gone from P10 to the lead of the race in only 10 laps what a race it's been for the Williams driver and Randro's possible 25 points to take off Psyche is going to go away from him We'll see who comes into the pit lane first. Now it's Randro's turn to see if he can perform a bit of an undercut. But obviously, on Tyro's pace at the moment, I don't think that's going to happen. It looks like Tyro is going to win his first Grand Prix here in CTCR. Go to the leader. Psyche is now 20 seconds behind, so it's going to be very hard for him even to catch up to possibly a Patish Hunt in the Ferrari. As Speedy Boy, Rando, Big Loudy and Emilio, the only guys to make pit stops at the moment, the top five haven't made a pit stop yet. There hasn't been a safety car yet with nine runners at the moment. Rando, 17. Probably who will dive into the pits, will it be Tyro, will it be Randro, Tyro's going to stay out, Randro will also stay out, and he looks too far behind to maybe make a possible move. Psyche is getting closer to Ski Fan, and it looks like his tyres are doing decently as Randro has gone off at the spoon curve. So Psyche now on the back of Ski Fan, way too far back probably to make a move. We'll see, it's a long DRS straight, and we'll see whether Psyche will go for an optimistic move. I don't think he will, but Ski Fan is a bit all out of shape, and it might have to be desperate times for Psyche. As the lads on the mediums are staying out just a little bit longer, try and make that hard stint just a little bit easier. see if Psyche possibly might go for an overcut on the Red Bull and then get closer to the Patishun and the Ferrari but that could be the best he can do because after that then it'll be Rando and Speedy Boy to catch up to and I don't know if that will happen but Psyche is six tenths behind and he is catching on the tier two race winner the tier one race winner realistically should be much quicker as they head true spoon and we'll see what kind of exit rand or site can get on the run down to 130r rando has decided to come into the pit lane and he's going to put on the hard tires crucially now we'll see who will follow him Patish Hund won't, so he'll overtake. Now, Rando realistically should come out in this battle with Ski Fan and Psyche. This could be interesting now to see as Rando comes out of the pit lane now. There they are. There's Rando. They are both ahead of Rando, but Rando on the fresher tyres is going to start to get close to them. The top four haven't pitted, and Rando, one second behind his championship rival who hasn't pitted so far. This is. What? seems to be delightful for Randro. Now a pit stop time is normally 22 seconds 
So Landro has to do some sort of massive undercut here on Tyro, but he actually seems to be losing time because of those cold, hard tires. But with lots of ERS, it should be possible to see. Say Tyro should just decide to come in now on those hard tires as Syke is still stuck behind Ski Fan. So we'll keep an eye on the leader to see how much Landro, Landro has got those tires a bit heated up and he is starting to gain now not only on Syke but on the leader but no never mind Tyro's just gained a lot more time and he seems to be slowing down and that final claim and that is why Tyro into the pit lane for his pit stop so we'll see now I'm guessing a Patishund will follow him because it is getting to that stage where those tyres are wearing a Patishund won't follow him so he's going to stay out Ski Fan and Syke also Ski Fan's going to stay out so will Syke possibly maybe to hold up Randro is Tyro's out of the pit lane he's ahead of Ski Fan he's ahead of Syke and importantly, is also ahead of Randro. Syke overtakes Ski Fan down into Turn 1 and is up into what is a provisional podium, but not going to be a net P3 because of him not pitting. Ski Fan has kind of just stayed with Syke here through the S's. And we'll see if he's going to be able to maybe re overtake. Psych and get up into P3. Andro also starting to gain on these two. Uh, we'll see if Randro can really get those hards going and catch right back up to Tyro for the race win. Who will go in first and make the first pit? Will it be Ski Fan? Will it be Psyche? Pick out round 130R. Patishund also decides to stay out. He really is going a long way on those mediums. And Psyche is the same. Ski Fan's called a quits. He will be in. Psyche may be trying to hold off Randro a bit here and possibly even allow his own teammate to catch up obviously that's going to be a mega job considering Rando is only at the chicane but something just to annoy Psyche or annoy Rando and possibly even maybe get the Ferrari ahead of him I, I don't know what Psyche could be doing he's staying out extra long and could really be leaving himself vulnerable to another undercut from Ski Fan we'll soon find that out as Rando is gaining on Psyche but obviously Suzuka is such a hard place to overtake that part of the track which means Randro will just have to stay behind Tyro gaining a huge gap in this it's 4 seconds between him and Randro now so Tyro possibly will have this lead this win wrapped up Randro is going to go for a little bit of a switch back here on the McLaren obviously these two are definitely rivals they don't like each other much Randro reporting him in Britain for what seemed to be pretty much nothing trying to get him a quali ban we'll soon see if that will happen as Randro gets a good exit here on the run down into 130R he's gaining, he's using ERS so too is Syke they are both just defending now seeing how long can Syke hold off Randro as Randro went, what will he do? He wants to be patient. He is essentially in that P2 anyway. A Patishund comes into the pit lane finally. Tyro takes the lead and Syke is into the pit lane. So that little bit of holding up from Syke there means the gap from Randro to Tyro is six seconds. That is going to be really hard for Syke to come back. We'll watch Syke's pit stop now onto the hards. Where will he come out? He actually had to get a front wing change there. So maybe he had a bit of damage. So Ski Fan most likely will definitely get by Randro here. Or Psyche here. Rando got by. Ski Fan will get by too. And Big Loudy had a few problems, but obviously gets a better exit. And Psyche is in P8. 
So at the moment, it's going to be very interesting. I think that means that the gap will be two points after this break. And we'll see what Sai can do if he will even finish this race. Obviously, he's finished every single race this season. The only, or except Australia, as he didn't race. But every race he's raced in, he's finished every single one. And he's one of the only drivers to do that. Psych. And at the moment, he's only P8. So maybe this is like Monzo. He really is struggling. Unless a safety car comes out and really does um, spice things up here. But at the moment, the gaps between everyone are very standard. And with 12 laps remaining... We don't know who will uh, who will win this race. Apatha Shund is only two seconds behind Rando and a much quicker hard. So he realistically should catch up and get up into P4. He's had an amazing time since he has joined this league. Apatha Shund and we'll see if he will race for for we'll see if he will race for Ferrari next season again or how he will finish this race or this season. Currently, uh, after only joining the league I think in Belgium um, Pat Schund has not he DNF'd in Italy he finished P4 in Belgium and finished 10th in Britain so it hasn't been a bad start for Pat Schund whatsoever joined the same time as Frank Rosso can't race today He's nine points behind him, and if he gets P12, that will move him up into P uh, P9 in the Drivers' Championship. So Patashund is racing for something today. It's not just pride for Ferrari. We'll soon find out how that will plan out in the final few laps of this race. Ooh, safety car. And what's happened there to bring that out? Is that Emilio, I think? Yeah, Emilio has hit the wall. Doesn't seem to have damage, but the safety car is out. But that is interesting indeed. Because now, everything's going to spice up this race. Who will make the gamble? Now, Rando has a spare pair of mediums. Big ladies came onto the softs. That's very, very optimistic. Because I don't know if you'll get 10 laps on the softs. Rando could barely get six, but he has a spare pair of mediums, Rando. And with the gap to Psyche being eight, 17 seconds, it looks. He could come in out in P6 on those fresh pair of mediums. We'll soon find out if he will do that or not. It means also Ranjo will catch up to Psyche or Tyro in the lead. So we'll soon find out what will happen there. Emilio does come in for the hard tires. We'll see what kind of time he can set. As he hasn't been lapped so he will come uh, it will restart with him in P9. We'll just find out who comes into the pit lane. So Tyro stays out. Randro also stays out. Speedy Boy, being the Mercedes reserve today, also is going to stay out. Now this is the interesting call. The only man with a spare pair of mediums. Will he come in and use them? Rando into the pit lane. Yep, he will come onto those medium tyres. Obviously a Shund will stay out and with those fresh hearts could put up a bit of a battle now to Speedy Boy right on the back of him yep Rando sticks on those mediums and Ski Fans come in too for the soft tyres he has to serve a 5 second penalty 
it looks like, and will be P6, I think, no, P7, Psyche overtakes him. Will he overtake Rando now, though? He has, he's overtaken Rando as well. Psyche, with the fresher tyres here, could still get up into the podium here, if he is quick enough, because he's overtaken Rando, he's overtaken Ski Fan, and... If he overtakes a Pate Shun and Speedy Boy, then he's right in the back of Rando and Tyro on fresher tyres. It could be a very interesting end to this race. And we'll soon find out, as it looks like everyone who has made a pit stop has already made it. So we'll just wait now for Tyro and the rest of the field to catch up. And we should get underway, I think, at the end of lap 19. Oh, what an end to this race this will be.
So the safety car is in this lap. Everyone has caught up to the field. Brandro on the back of Tyro now. Obviously older tires on the hards, but don't write off maybe someone like Rando. Obviously the only man with a three second penalty. Oh, but oh, what's happened here? Oh, Rando's picked up a penalty. So too has a Patish Hund. That could be crucial. Rando's picked up two. He has 10 seconds of penalties. That could be removed at the end of the race. But as of now, Rando could really be dropping back here. Tyro on the safety car restart. Up into P1 and he's weaving all over the place. Try and get in temperature into those tyres maybe. Or maybe just trying to defend from Rando. Rando with 10 seconds of penalties. This could be crucial now. As Syke gets by a Patish Hund into turn one. Everything has turned around for the McLaren driver so far in P4. And now we'll try hunt down Speedy Boy, who again will try to fend for his life in keeping Syke behind for his teammate in the championship battle. Randro, I don't know if he got like a penalty or something like that for maybe hitting into the back of someone. We'll soon find out. It could be Tyro maybe that gets punished for that for an unsafe restart. As Rando looks to have dropped places, Big Loudy has gone for a dive bomb, a huge one on a Patish Hund. And it really is getting very, very scrappy at the back here. Ski fan's going to try and maybe go for one on Rando. Oh, and Rando's been touched. She's been spun round. And Emilio goes round the outside of all of them. And Rando is dropped down into P9. We'll go back to the leaders. Rando. Rando in P2. Seems to just be too far behind Tyro, though. And Tyro with the better exit there. Means that I think time has ran out for Tyro. Laps may run out. We'll see with the how much he can gain. Obviously DRS will be enabled soon. I don't think it'll be this lap, but it might be next. The speedy Boy and Psych kind of have a little bit of a four-way train here all the way up to first place. As we look at Randro gaining on Tyro. Gaining ever so slightly, but with 10 seconds of penalties that he has, it will drop him down into, I think that is P6, I should know, P, yeah, P6, that's where it should be dropping into. Um, but as of now, with five laps remaining, it's not looking good. Tyro has the fresher tires, but seems to be struggling through these Suzuka S's to catch up to Speedy Boy. Has it been a very anticlimactic race, despite the absolute brilliant drive it's been from Tyro from away from Randro and I don't think that is from Randro making mistakes I think that is just from Tyro's pure pace today Tyro in P1 Randro in P2 but could drop very far back because of those penalties he will report them we know we'll see where he'll come out after that speedy boy has been a speedy boy and it looks like he's going to finish p2 well on the road and or today but possibly p3 after the reports drove a brilliant race being a reserve after racing in tier two but his time could come to an end if psych Gets a good run on these line, final few laps. Four laps remaining. Big Loudy has also drove an amazing race. He's in P5, reserving for his Alfa Romeo teammates. Patu Shund was another one of those to get five second penalty, and it looks like he has a bit of end plate damage too. With Emilio behind him, he could possibly catch up and overtake for P6. Rando has got by Ski Fan as well, who I think has a bit of damage after his little collecting of Rando as Rando was dropped now two seconds behind with Speedy Boy I, th I think he'll just remain still and try and just hold off Syke and hold off that podium for the Mercedes 2-3 it looks like Tyro is going to win his first race but who will be the other one on the podium will it be Speedy Boy will it be Syke or will Rando even drop off the podium he will on penalties but we'll see if he drops off on the road Syke right on the back of oh, Speedy Boy as he has been for the last few laps now with DRS now enabled we'll see if he will be able to overtake on the DRS tray I think Randro has accepted he won't win this race but maybe he should just try and stay and keep that DRS that Speedy Boy will have which makes sure Speedy Boy will be able to defend from Psyche but Psyche 
three tenths up on his fastest lap time shows that he is absolutely rapid at the moment with low fuel and fresh tires as we go two tires obviously five laps younger than speedy boys with drs now enabled speedy boy also has drs enabled which means that they've kind of had a bit of a drs train on the road to rando randro who has obviously the most ers out of all of them and with three laps remaining now psych has a huge job to do in order to get up into the podium big loudies tires may start to wear soon as well and with emilio now right on the back of the patishon who obviously has damage we'll soon find out what happens with these two the season one champ should be an experienced driver and he should know what to do in these scenarios as he's just waiting he's collided with him he's collected them and they've both spun off he hasn't been used as experienced there, Emilio, because he should have just kept where he was and realized that a patushun that damage. And that means that Emilio, for another consecutive race, will be the last finisher. That is not good for what used to be such a decorated driver. Patushund should will also be a bit disappointed if he did get that penalty removed. He could have finished P6, but instead is only going to finish in P4. Um, or in P8 and with that penalty as well Emilio could possibly uh, jump him no he probably won't he's 7 seconds behind we'll go back to the battle that is important at the moment though Big Loud he's 7 seconds behind Psych uh, as he's on uh, penalty which means that Big Loudy will pick up 10 points for the Alfa Romeo team all things going to plan as it looks like Psych is a little bit closer to Speedy Boy and Speedy Boy doesn't really have the toe that he had on Randro once before there's three laps remaining now sorry I was kind of got my mats wrong there on the final few three laps now remaining Psych will only finish P4 but well he'll finish P3 but P4 on the road um, with three laps remaining he'll want to get that P2 if he can overtake Speedy Boy and we'll soon find out whether that happens or not in the last few laps obviously Tyro has had an amazing race. He's in P1 at the moment. Oh, and Speedy Boy has dropped out of Randro's DRS. Now, will Randro kind of lift a bit and just let him catch back up? We'll see about that. Obviously, Randro does want to also as race win. He needs to think about that but he also needs to think should he gain more put try and gain more points for himself or should he back off and make sure psych doesn't gain any more points because psych is right on the back of speedy boy and going into the drs detection zone now speedy boy is not within his teammates drs and they are nose to tail here going through the final corner will psych get the move up into p3 and p2 on penalty psych is going to move down the inside early and with the speedy boy derailing, it means Psych is up into P3. What a recovery drive it's been from the McLaren driver. Up into P3 and P2 on penalties so far. Maybe it could have been a bit of a mistake there from Randro and not backing off and letting speedy boy grab his DRS and create a bit of a train. He decided to go a bit quicker in hopes of trying to put pressure on Tyro. But that's a big gamble because it looks like Tyro has been flawless all day. And it looks like he's going to win the race here with two laps remaining. And if Psyche has anything to say now in these final few laps, he could possibly even put a bit more pressure on Randro to making a mistake himself in the final lap. It's the two championship talent challengers. It's orange versus blue. Onto the final lap of this Japanese Grand Prix. So Rando is right on the back of Big Loudy. His tyres are screaming at him now, Big Loudy. But obviously Rando does have that three second time penalty i think big loudy has only just picked up one there himself too so that means both of them are level pegging at the moment so this is the battle for p5 will it be mclaren will it be alpha romeo we'll soon find out now as they head true spoon obviously rando will be on the better tires on those mediums could have maybe had a better result if he wasn't spun out by ski fan into the hairpin but at the moment it still may be a good result from the McLaren driver who's sitting P7 in the championship and will move up into potentially P4 after this race. 
as he will have the DRS on the final lap of this race. A little bit of as the rear wing now opens, a little bit of drag reduction for the McLaren driver, and he is already miles ahead of Big Laudy, who, if he doesn't keep up that pace, obviously Ski Fan is also one soft, so that means that both of them will be struggling tire wear the same amount, pretty much. So, as of now, Oh, speedy boy, will he maybe line something up on the final lap of this race? We'll see. No, he won't. He's gone a little bit wide there. Out of, what is that, up turn nine? Yeah, a little bit wide out of turn nine, which means that he will only finish P4. We'll switch to the leader. We'll switch to Tyro. Oh, well, no, he's still yet to win a race. He's been on the podium two times. He has won the sprint in him, and he's still yet to win a race. And with the last few corners of the Japanese Grand Prix, that is soon to end today. As he heads through 130R and now into the Casio Triangle chicane. From 10th on the grid, Tyro 010 has driven an exceptional race. Tyro, for the first time in CTCR, is a Grand Prix winner. He wins the Japanese Grand Prix. Randro will finish P7 on the road but Syke will take that off him and so will Speedy Boy in P3 Rando now is next to cross the line that means Randro will definitely be P4 but possibly P2 we'll see with penalties on that Rando, finish, Rando finishes P5 Big Loudy will finish P6 with Ski Fan couldn't quite get close enough will only finish P7 and we'll see now in the final few corners whether Emilio will get P8 off of Patishond it's looking unlikely no, it won't be. Only one safety car this race. It has been interesting towards the end, especially with the penalties at the end of the safety car restart, but it's Tyro 010 that takes home 25 points, or 26 points for Williams because of the fastest lap as well. What a wa race. What a weekend. And we hope to see you in two weeks' time in Miami if all things go to plan. Here he is as he walks through the tunnel out onto the podium. A few dance moves and for the first time ever steps on the top step. A very well done round of applause from everyone here in Suzuka. Especially the Williams crew and possibly his teammate Emilio. He knows what it's like to be up there. He's won a few races in his time and a world championship in that. We'll see if Tyro can maybe compete next season but... He's been a bit unlucky this season, but to finally gets his first race win. So, we run through the grid. Tyro, 1. Syke, P2. Dutch, 1, 2. Speedy Boy, P3. Rando, P4. Rando, Rando P4. Rando, P5. Big Loudy, P6. Ski Fan, P7. Patashun, P8. Emilio, P9. They're the last of the finishers. Kingsman and Techno Sizzle both DNF. Both of them will get a non classified. As we go to the incidents, there hasn't been many. That is all of them. Thank you for being with us today. We'll see you in two weeks' time for Tier 2 in. Or no, not Tier 2, Tier 1 in Miami because Tier 2 has announced that it will not be having any more uh, streamed races until the finale in Abu Dhabi. Thank you to everyone and we will see you next time.